Welcome back to the channel. This is Diesel Oil Analysis by the Numbers, Part 2. I finally got my Valvoline Premium Blue Extreme 5W40 sample back from Blackstone Labs. Okay. <clears throat> Bottom line up front, comparing 5W40 full synthetic diesel oils. Valvoline Premium Blue Extreme. Rotella T6 and uh, Amsoil 5W40. In my opinion, Valvoline Premium Blue is the better choice. I think that by the numbers, it is better than Amsoil. And also by the numbers, it is better than Shell Rotella T6. But that is to be expected because this is a cheaper oil that you can find at your local Walmart. Okay, so with that out of the way, right? Those are, that's the bottom line up front. Now I'm going to get into the nuts and bolts, and I'm going to kind of break everything down. I'm this is I'm going to try to keep this short. Okay, first things first. I want to be able to. Now I'm your average Joe. I am not an oil engineer expert. Whatever. Okay, I'm just your average guy trying to find information that's difficult to find or talk about stuff that no one else wants to talk about for whatever reason. Okay, <clears throat> so when reading these samples, right? Some of some people may not know what you're looking at. Like, what am I looking at here? Right? Elements and parts per million for all this stuff. Properties. These numbers. What does this mean? Well, Blackstone Labs has a uh, an example sheet, right? And you can you can pause this um, if you want to read through it, but it gives you a sample report and it outlines what every section is, okay? And then it breaks down where metals, which is your aluminum, chromium, iron, copper, lead, tin, nickel, silver, and titanium, breaks down what are contaminants, that's your potassium, sodium, and silicon. Then the additive package, right? The stuff that's your anti-wear, dispersants, deter detergents, uh, and so forth. That is your moly, manganese, boron, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, zinc, and uh, barium. Barium? Yeah. Then your physical properties, right? Your... Viscosity and flashpoint. This is uh, what uh, determines the viscosity, right? If it's a 40 weight, 30 weight, and so forth, okay? Breaks that down. Fuel percentage, antifreeze, water, and insolubles, okay? So you can pause this. You can read it for yourself. I'm not going to read all this because that this video will just keep going. Okay, so let's get into the numbers, all right? Now that we know what all this stuff means in parts per million, okay? Let's look at your anti-wear, dispersants, and detergent package, okay? Valvoline, Molly, 68, Chevrotella, 1, Amsoil, 0. Let's go down to the next here in line with Valvoline. Boron, 71, uh, Boron, 184 with T6, Boron, 91 with Amsoil. Let's go down to uh, Calcium. Now, Valvoline Premium Blue has less calcium at 854 parts per million versus 2020 with T6 and 1,188 with Amsoil. Magnesium for Valvoline Premium Blue Extreme, 1,216. Shortella has 90 and Amsoil has 720. Now let's get into your other anti-wear. Uh, now Molly is also an anti-wear, right? That sheet that I had up, it tells you exactly what's what, right? But Ford requires phosphorus levels of a thousand or more parts per million, right? Phosphorus and zinc, these are both your main anti-wear additives that motor that engine companies, engine oil companies use. 1,176 for phosphorus, Valvoline Premium Blue Extreme, 1,024 with T6. And 1,151 for Amsoil. Valvoline beats both of these products. Zinc, 1,305 for Premium Blue. Extreme, 
1,199 for T6 and 1,235 for your AMSOIL. Does AMSOIL beat T6 by the numbers? Yes, it does. But does it beat Valvoline Premium Blue Extreme? No, it doesn't. Valvoline Premium Blue Extreme beats AMSOIL, okay, particularly for elements that Ford is definitely requiring in order to meet their WSS standard, F1 standard. Now let's look at your viscosity. Uh, the Valvoline Premium Blue Extreme is uh, 14.72. Uh, values should be anywhere between 12.7 to 15.3. And that changes throughout, you know, every year or whatever. Because you can see here, this, this test was done in 2017. They require 11.9 through 15.3. But anyways, Premium Blue Extreme is 14.72. Shower Teller is 14.5 and Amazon is 14.45. So what's a stronger 40 weight? Your Valvoline Premium Blue Extreme. Let's look at your TBN. Valvoline has a stronger TBN than T6. This is a 9.0. This is your active additives, right? 9.0. T6 is 8.0. Unfortunately, with Amazon, this individual did not do a TBN test. So we don't really know. However, judging by the additives, what Valvoline has, versus what Amsoil doesn't have or has, and also Rotella T6. Honestly, in my opinion, when you look at the numbers, Valvoline Premium Blue takes the cake. I think that it is a better oil than both Rotella T6 and Valvoline, I mean, uh, Amsoil 5W40. I think the Valvoline Premium Blue Extreme is the better choice in terms of a, in terms of a 540 oil, okay? Uh, in the previous video, I did compare Schaefer's. Uh, I do have that, as a matter of fact, but, um, and it's right here, but this is a CJ oil. This test was done in 2016, and this is a CJ oil, CJ4 oil. So it's going to have a lot higher dispersant detergent package like calcium. Look at that. That's, that's really high. 2,569. Your phosphorus and zinc are really high. Um, but again, this is a CJ4 oil. We don't, they don't, this oil is no longer in production. Okay. At least your major brands. Amsoil might still produce a CJ4. I don't know. But um, anyways, uh, but yeah, so there you go. Uh, in summary, I'm going to try to cut this video short. Uh, in terms of your 540 full synthetic oils, right? And I understand. Valvoline and Shell are a group, a high-end group three base oil. Amsoil is a PAO group four oil. It is a higher, the, the base oil is a higher, is of higher quality. However, does that matter if their additive package isn't as robust as some of their competitors? I don't know. You be the judge on that. You want to spend two, three, four, five hundred dollars on oil? That's up to you. Okay. Now, comparing these two, T6 versus Premium Blue Extreme, Premium Blue Extreme is expensive. At Napa, it's like $32 and some change a gallon. Versus T6 at Walmart at $21 and like 98 cents, okay, a gallon. So the T6 is cheaper. But you see it in the numbers also. There's a reason why it's a little bit cheaper, okay? But it's still good. It's still good. It's still a very good oil by the numbers. Um, but in the end, comparing T6, Amsoil, Valvoline Premium Blue, in my opinion, this is my opinion only, Valvoline Premium Blue is the better choice. So there you go. You ultimately, you make your own decision. You can choose what oil you want to run. I will maintain Rotella T5 10W30 because Rotella T5 10W30 is very comparable to Rotella T6 5W40 and it's a little bit cheaper and when the numbers and the additive package are very similar I don't think there is a need to go with T6 when I can save a few extra dollars and still have a very good quality oil. Uh, so I, I will maintain my amp particularly the uh, how many miles I plan to put on every oil change. So I'm going to change my oil every 7,500 miles. And so I will use Rotella T5 10W30. Uh, so that's the oil I will use. But for this video purposes, again, I know I keep iterating it. 
But look, Val, just look at the numbers. Look at the numbers. I, in my opinion, in terms of, especially for anti-wear additives, Valvoline is better than Amsoil. It is. The viscosity is stronger than Amsoil. Amsoil may have more calcium, but Valvoline has more of other additives than Amsoil. So, I don't know, you be the judge, but, um, you know, take this for what it's worth with a grain of salt, because this is just my opinion. Uh, I hope someone finds this helpful and useful, uh, especially for the oil, war, oil wars out there, right? Uh, Amsoil is better, no, shells are better, you know, Schaefer's, you know, Valvoline, blah, blah, blah. But uh, anyways, uh, they're all good oils. In the end, they're all good oils. It really doesn't matter what you run as long as you change your oil. You want to spend $500 on oil? Fine. Just make sure you change it at a reasonable amount. Don't be going like 100,000 miles between oil changes. That is absolutely ridiculous. And I'm going to the extreme here, but, you know, some people push it 20, 30,000 miles. Uh, really wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that. But anyways, okay, there you go. Hope this video has been helpful, helpful, and we will see you in the next video.